bottom layer is the reflective mirror. So the reflective mirror is going to have a hole in it to pass the LEDs through. And then the next layer is going to be a wood layer because we're going to build it and we're going to stack it like that. It'll go like this. We'll put the LEDs through the hole, it'll come out here, and then they're going to wrap around this way. So the entire thing will be wrapped, but because of those, chan those system of channels, we'll be able to do the whole thing out of one strand of acrylic. Uh, I'm sorry, one strand of uh, LEDs. So that's why I color code my stuff. Like this is going to be a clear acrylic layer that's going to go towards the bottom. And what this will do is it will, it will allow the light to go on the outside of the design and it'll light up the wall on the outside too. So this is clear acrylic, this is mirror, this is black acrylic, and those are my wood layers. So the next step is going to be to wrap the LED around. Uh, and this is going to take a little bit, so we'll probably speed this up. But um, this particular LED strip um, is a continuous light. It has a channel on top, kind of that diffuses the light, so it looks like it's one solid light. It's eight millimeters thick by 2.5 millimeters. Uh, I'm sorry, eight millimeters wide by two and a half millimeters thick. It's got double-sided tape that you peel off, so we'll be able to stick it all the way around our piece. And then, you know, we have our channel that we cut, so that's where the wire will come out of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the next step is we just peeled off our acrylic. This is going to be our top mirror. This is the two-way mirror. Uh, some people call it one-way. Uh, what's important, this is the film right here. So on one side, it's a perfect mirror. On the other side, it lets the light through. What's really important is the visible light transmission rating. You want something that only has 5%. So like the darkest you can get, which is this. You can get those on Amazon. I'll post the link of exactly which one I used. I tried two different ones before that. And if you allow too much more light transmission, the effect is not nearly as deep. So this is really what you want. You want only want 5%. It's called the silver, but I'll, I'll post the link. But 5% light transmission, very important. It's the darkest you can get. So I'm going to take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, 91%, and i just go over real quick over my acrylic to remove any kind of residue from uh, the previous step where we peeled it off. So if there was any kind of adhesive, uh, we're going to remove it. Another thing you're going to need is, you know, a bottle like this. This is like 15 ounces. You put maybe like six, eight drops of uh, dish soap in there. Just going to give it some uh, viscosity to uh, apply the film. So I'm going to cut my piece of film. I'm going to go a little bit bigger than what I need so I can spread out uh, over the edges. All right. So this is the trick. You're supposed to put one on one side, one on the other side. Of course, you don't want them to touch. And then you're going to pull it apart. And it'll separate just like that. You're going to apply some soapy water and be very generous with it. Soapy water all over the acrylic and then all over the film. And then we're going to put the film down. And you're going to use a squeegee with some felt on it to protect it. And you're going to push any liquid and bubbles out. Now these films, especially if you buy the cheap ones, they scratch easy, even with the felt. I mean, that's why I said I bought a bunch of different ones to experiment with it. This is a really good quality film. Again, I'll post the link on Amazon. It's going to dry and adhere really well after a few hours. So my recommendations would be don't try to cut it right here and then. Just let it rest a little bit. And when it's time to cut, it's not going to lift from the mirror. So this is the effect you're going to have coming from the back. I'm doing all this design in Inkscape just because I have a, a, a comfort level that allows me to go much faster uh, and not make mistakes. 
with Inkscape, I know I can just get it done, but Lightburn is much better uh, when it's used, if you can only use one, Lightburn is definitely better just because you can do your graphic design and controlling the laser all in one program, whereas what I'm doing here is creating the graphic, saving it, and then importing it into Lightburn. But the only reason I'm doing it is because it's faster for me, I won't make any mistakes, so it won't be confusing because, like I said, this is not really pre-planned. This is a, an idea that's in my head that I'm literally materializing in front of you guys as we go. Uh, so I will remake this video if it's popular enough. I will remake it using Lightburn. Uh, that's not a problem at all. But right now it's more of a proof of concept. I'm gonna engrave this and like I said, then we'll take it to the CO2 and we'll cut the 11 and a half uh, circle around it uh, because the fiber cannot do that. Uh, the fiber can take that protective coating but it cannot cut acrylic where CO2 can do cut the acrylic, but he couldn't just take the reflecting backing without frosting it. Uh, and we don't want that. We want it to be completely transparent. I do my red line preview, line it up. I'm gonna set my power settings. I'm gonna go pretty fast, probably do 1700 speed, and I'll do 40% of the, my 30 watt laser. Uh, line interval is at 0.05 millimeters, which is roughly 0.002 inches. Auto rotate, flood fill, good to go. And start. We'll just do one pass at a time. So let's go. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but Everywhere it goes, you can see right through it. So once this is finished, we'll, we'll move on to the CO2 room. We will cut the 11 and a half inch uh, diameter circle around it. So that reflective backing catches on fire. That's nothing you can do about that. We could have put some tape to protect it, but it doesn't really matter. This will be covered by the ring anyway, so you're not gonna see it. But I do want to clean it. I don't want any smoke to hinder the light transmittance between uh, the light box that we're going to have behind it and the front. So, And then we're going to have to cut uh, those pieces that are made out of wood. So I'll put a sheet of wood in there. So having taken that mirror, what we did is painting in the back a little bit of uh, like green fluorescent paint, but not too heavy a coat, so the light will still go through and you'll be able to see it. Now here is my back, my two rings as a spacer. And then I went real quick and cut some uh, deflector, uh, what's it called? Diffusion. Diffusion paper. So instead of, when you lay your LEDs, instead of seeing the LED lights, it'll uh, spread the light over the surface of the diffuser and you're gonna get a much more even uh, lighting throughout. So this is just to create a space for me to run LEDs and then the diffuser with it. We'll trim everything so it'll be, I mean it's pretty thick. I don't think it had to be that thick. If I was to do it again, I'll probably take a couple layers out here that are not completely necessary. Um, but the, the, the longer, the higher the distance between the bottom mirror and the top mirror, the deeper the infinity effect is going to be. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to trim the mirror. I'm going to solder the LEDs. We'll put it all back together and show you what the final product looks like. Man, we got a perfect mirror. Just a little bit dirty. It's still got soap on it. I'll let it dry without touching it up. But boom, cleans up real nice. So th this is what the finished product will look like. You can see where I left the clear acrylic there. So this will shine through and it's gonna light up the wall uh, that it's hung on. I'm gonna cut some uh, hooks to hang the, from this piece of wood. I'll cut something else so we can uh, hang it. But this will be the total package finished up. I'm just gonna glue it, paint it, 
you know, do all the finish touches and uh, finishing touches and uh, show it to you when it's finished.